Good morning students of class 6. Hope you did your spellings correctly. Uh, 16 spellings are not too much. I hope you wrote all the spellings and did not miss. I hope you paused and did. Yes, you can. That is also an option. No, I hope you did that. So today I'll be doing a poem. Where do all the teachers go? Yes. What is a student's favorite pastime you think in school? When you come to school, what is your favorite pastime? It is talking about the teachers. Oh, that ma'am is wearing very nice lipstick. Oh, look at that ma'am sari. Oh, look at that ma'am salwar kameez. Oh my God, look at that ma'am's hair. Oh my God, look at that ma'am's makeup. It's beautiful. It's so nice. Yes, look at that ma'am, how she's walking. This is what you all do, you know, I know. All students, they love to gossip. Children, uh, for, till, for students, teachers are the main topic of gossip. Be from class 1 or KG or class 12 or any class. Yes, students love to gossip. And so you want to know. You want to know your teachers more. Yes, you want to get information from your teachers. There are some teachers who will give you a lot of information about themselves. My students know a lot about me. My previous students who have already left school, they still remember things that I told them about myself. So they have a lot of information about me. Not all the information, but some of the information. So as students, we like to know about our teachers. So this poem is all about that. Where do all the teachers go? So this is an inquisitive child, a child who's very, very curious, who wants to know where do these people go? People as in teachers, where do these teachers go after school? Yeah, they come to school, they work here, they work the whole day, they teach us, they scold us, they love us, they appreciate us. And after school, where do they go? Yes, many of us as students, we wonder about the life of teachers. And this poems are all about that. It's about a child who is wondering what a teacher does after school. Not in the school, but after school. What does the teacher do? Now, this poem is all about that. For a, for a student, the teacher is very special. Hopefully, hopefully I am special for you. As you are special for me. So as children, we want to know what our teachers are doing. So I will be explaining the whole poem in one class. Hopefully you will understand it. I am also sending you the question answers. Please copy the answers in your copy. Okay, now the objectives of this is to learn, uh, to read a poem, to understand, then to identify new words, vocabulary. I will be sending it to you written. So don't worry about that. And then I will be also sending you a summary of this and then the answers of the uh, lesson. Okay, so continue watching the video or rather listening to the video. Okay, take care and keep wondering about me. What is Sandra Ma'am's life like? Okay, one day when we meet in school, I will tell you. Many of you I have not met. One day I will tell you about my life. Okay, continue listening to the video. So I hope you listen to my introductory well. Today's poem we're going to do is Where Do All the Teachers Go by Peter Dixon. By Peter Dixon. He is the poet. For a little child, a teacher is special. It is difficult for a small child to think of his or her teacher as an ordinary person. Ordinary person means somebody who is just like that. A, a, a child thinks his teacher to be extraordinary. Yes, extraordinary. For a child his teacher is extraordinary not ordinary so let's begin the poem and this poem is being narrated by a child where do all the teachers go when it's four o'clock do they live in houses and do they wash their socks do they wear pajamas and do they watch tv and do they pick their noses the same as you and me this child is asking, he's full of curiosity, he's asking so many questions. His first question is, where do all the teachers go when it's 4 o'clock? So why has he picked up this time, 4 o'clock? Because 4 o'clock is the time when the school gets over. Yes, not in our school, but in other schools, the schools get over at 4 o'clock. So this child is wondering, where does his teacher or where do all the teachers go after the school gets over? Do they live in houses and do they wash the socks? He's wondering. He's thinking, do teachers live in houses and do they wash their socks? Do they wash their socks themselves? This is the question he asks. <clears throat> do they wear pajamas and do they watch TV? 
do they wear pajamas means pajamas means our night clothes yes the whole day we wear some clothes and in the night before we sleep we change into pajamas we wear pajamas to sleep so this child is wanting to know whether the teacher also wears pajamas and whether they also watch tv and do they pick their noses the same as you and me do they pick their noses means what like many children they put their finger in their noses and they take out gold from there no they take out gold from their noses okay so this is what he says do the teachers also pick their noses do teachers also put their fingers in their noses like small children this is what the poet is asking the reader he wants to know these things or these facts about a teacher then the next question he asks is do they live with other people have they mums and dads and were they ever children and were they ever bad so he also maybe he is a naughty boy so he is asking us whether teachers live with their parents with mums and dads do teachers live with other people do they have mums and dads mummies and daddies and were they ever he is wondering were our teachers ever children and were they ever bad were they ever naughty when they were small did they ever never spell right did they ever make mistakes he is asking us did teachers always spell right did they always write the correct spellings did they ever make mistakes did our teachers ever make mistakes with their studies were they punished in the corner if they pinched the chocolate flakes he is asking were our teachers ever punished when they were children in school if they pinched if they robbed if, if, if they stole pinched means here stole if they stole to steal to rob so if they pinched the chocolate flakes if they stole chocolates were they punished and made to stand in a corner like most students like most children are today so he asks this did they ever lose their hymn books did they ever leave their greens did they ever lose their hymn books hymn books means the books that we have in church there is a song book hymn means songs it's a song book that is kept in churches when you enter a church there will be song books lying on each bench or sometimes people also buy their own song books and they read during the service in the church or uh, anywhere in a holy place they read or they sing these songs and there are these books are called hymn books or song books did they ever leave their greens leave their greens means leave their vegetables on the table did they leave the vegetables like most children don't like to eat vegetables they like to eat meat fish chicken right so here he is asking whether uh, children, our teachers when they were small did they leave their vegetables on the plate did they scribble on the desk tops scribble like all of you do in the classroom writing your name drawing pictures on the desk right all of you do that with your with your compass compass or with your pen we scribble on the desk so he is asking whether teachers also did that when they were small this is what he wants to know about the teachers whether they were as naughty so from reading all this what do you think do you think that uh, this boy is naughty of course he is naughty he is wondering whether uh, my teachers are were just like me when they were small he is wondering that he wants to know everything about his teachers about uh, having mums and dads and if they were very naughty when they were small or did they ever make spelling mistakes were they ever punished and made to stand in the corner or if they ever stole anything from anyone or did they lose their song books in the church yes or if they left their vegetables on the plate did not eat the vegetables or even if they scribbled on the desktop this shows us this that this child is doing all these things that is why he wants to know about his teachers so let's continue did they wear old dirty jeans another one question of his is whether his teachers ever wore dirty jeans i'll follow one back home today i'll find out what they do then i'll put it in a poem that they can read to you so he is saying today i will follow one teacher back home i will see where the teacher goes i'll find out what they do i'll find out what these teachers do then i'll put it in a poem then i'll come back home and write a poem about it that they can read to you that they will teach you in the classroom he says you see this boy what he says yes he he plans to follow one teacher home today itself then he'll see what they do 
and when he comes back he will write one poem and that poem we teachers will teach you in school or will read to you in school now this is the poem where do all the teachers go so do we know at the end where do all the teachers go do we know but till the end of the poem it is not clear he hasn't found out as yet where do all the teachers go but you and i we know where do all the teachers go after school you think do we go roaming here and there watching movie and all that no we come we come home straight some of us live with our mums and dads some of us don't yes yeah, some of us wear pajamas some of us don't some of us yes of course we did we wear dirty jeans but not everyone yes so this is what he wants to know so we come to know that this child or this narrator is a very very curious child and he wants to know everything about his teachers what they eat what they wear where they go whether they eat, wear dirty jeans right or whether they live with their mummies and daddies or whether they pick their noses or they watch TVs or if they watch wash their socks or if as children did they ever make mistakes with their spellings were they ever punished did they ever lose their hymn books their song books so all these answers he wants to know yes and how will he get the answers how does he plan to get the answers by following one teacher today he plans to follow one teacher and find out everything about the teacher so that is the end of the poem hope you have understood it if you have doubts let me know i'm sending you the summary of this poem i'm sending you the question answers okay all that i'll be sending you and as well as the objectives so please uh, write them all out in your copies nicely neatly this is the last of the syllabus for term 1 okay take care bye bye